I've got the blinking sausages. And of course the wine, the most important stuff that is for me. You see, I'm, you know, I've been off sick. I'm very well organized now, aren't I? If it... <laughs> Hello boys and girls, have you missed me? Hmm? I've missed you. I was a bit poorly, uh, to say the least. Don't worry, it wasn't the old Rona. I think I had a dose of some sort of bug. It's the best way I can kind of describe it. it. Took me a couple of weeks to kind of get over it. But then it took another week because my, I lost my voice. I was all croaky, I could hardly talk. If I can't speak, no point making a video, is there? Anyway, today we're gonna make a sausage casserole. You know, it's getting a bit cooler now. Colder weather's coming. So I thought I'd make a nice warming sausage casserole. Nice bit of comfort food. Uh, please excuse the quality of this video. You might be sort of noticing this isn't as good as, as normal videos. The quality is a bit lower. It's because I'm using my phone. Reason being is I sold that bloody rubbish flipping Panasonic camera I had because I'd had enough of it, right? There's a whole myriad of issues with that camera. If you're into filming, I would stay away from the Lumix G7. Uh, it had a lot of benefits, right? It was good at some stuff, but the one constant that was driving me around the bend was its autofocus. Just, it's just not up to par with Canon's. So I'm going back to Canon and I'm going for a slight upgrade. I had to sell it because I got such a good offer on it, I couldn't refuse it. So I'm using my phone for the time being. Bear with me until I get the rest of the money to upgrade and go back to a Canon. This other camera has lots more features and it's got Canon's autofocus in it. So you're not gonna see loads of flipping blurriness all the time and it'll just jump out of focus. All right, I, I don't know. I'm gonna shut this door. It's too cold. You tell I've been out of sync for a while, can't you? I'm just nowhere near organized. But anyway, that's what we're doing. Nice sausage casserole. Before we jump into it though, do the usual thing, like, share and subscribe. Uh, what's the first thing we need to do? Brown the sausages. Let's go. Sausages. Also what I want is a glass of vino. Because after the day I've had, I bloody well deserve it. Uh, and I've got some proper wine glasses at last. Let's have a slurp. Mmm, that's very average. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do is get our sausages. Now I'm using Lincolnshire, you can really use whatever sausage you like. Whatever you fancy, mix it up. Use a mixture of two different sorts. It's up to you. And I've got eight here, nice decent sized ones. So what we need to do now is get them in the pan and get them nice and brown. And no. All around me are familiar I'll kill you! You're not having my sausages. All right, let's get the pan on. That's gonna do that bleeding thing again, isn't it? Come on. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm a fire risk. Don't do as I do, boys and girls. Be safe in your kitchens. Now, uh, just a touch of oil. Shouldn't need too much because there's going to be plenty of fat in the sausages. Uh, and I'm just going to pop these in. Doesn't matter, you can lay them in cold. And I'm going to spend a couple of minutes getting these nice and golden brown. Okay, you want a nice colour on there. This is what you're looking for. Look at the colour of those. The colour of those can only be described as mahogany. All right, get a nice colour in there, because nobody, I've heard it said before, many times, nobody appreciates a beige sausage. I'm gonna get those onto a plate, just to sit to one side for a second. And I'll turn the heat right down, nice and low, and then just very simply get your onion sliced up. In with the onions, in they go. And I'm probably gonna add just a touch more oil quite enough fat in there and slowly 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 I'm gonna soften these onions again done this before don't worry about those burnt khaki bits it's flavor so I'm probably gonna cook these down for about 10 maybe 15 minutes slurp on the old vino take your time no rush but whilst these are softening I'm gonna chop up my carrots but again you don't need to see that because that's boring Right, so it's been about 15 minutes. So what I'm gonna do now is add a good heaped tablespoon of tomato puree. Uh, I'm also gonna add my two cloves of chopped garlic and I'm gonna cook that tomato paste, that garlic, for about 30 seconds to a minute. I've explained this a thousand times before. It takes the rawness out of the garlic and you know, if you don't cook out tomato paste, it, it can be bitter. So 
just make sure you do that. Shut up, you. You've had your bloody supper. Two very boring minutes later. Okay, so next thing I'm going to add is about 250 mil of chicken stock. I want a light sort of stock for this. Again, we're going to lift off some of that fond off the bottom. So all these little steps, you see, I think it was Marco Pierre White that said it, and I think I stole it off him, that cooking well is lots of little steps done right. That's all it is. Then I'm going to add a can of chopped tomatoes, a 400 gram can, a 400, get your words out, a 400 gram can. In that goes. I'm just going to add a little bit of water just to rinse out the rest of it. In that goes. Also going to add my carrots. I think I've kind of overdone it with the carrots there, but never mind. <laughs> uh, you want about four medium sized carrots. I've probably got about two flipping massive large ones and two small ones. So four medium is fine. We'll add some pepper. I'm going to add some herbs uh, just because I need using up. They were lying around. So I'm going to add a sprig of rosemary, a little tip for you, just kind of smush it in your hands. Okay. Just kind of give it a scrunch and then smell your hand. It smells of rosemary, right? That's because you're releasing the essential oils. That's where the flavor is. I'm also going to add some thyme and all I'm going to do is take the thyme stem and just go sprinkle it in. Right, easy stuff. If it's really fresh thyme, okay, it's not sort of dried out a bit like that, you can just chop it up. Also gonna add a couple of bay leaves, get them in there. And I also will add just a touch. I'm gonna go in with about two teaspoons of Worcestershire, Worcestershire? Worcester sauce. Or as the Americans say, Worcestershire sauce. Mix everything together. I'm not adding any salt at this point because the stock's going to be salty and you know there's going to be seasoning in the sausages so you know we can kind of season it up at the end then we'll get the sausages back in plus any juices that might have settled on the plate then i'm just going to pop the lid back on this that's going to take i'd say 30 to 40 minutes now technically a casserole goes in the oven that's the difference between a casserole and a stew a stew is done on top casserole in the oven so it's kind of a stew, really. Sausage stew, but sausage casserole sounds better. I don't know. But anyway, I'm gonna let that simmer away for 30 to 40 minutes. Let it trickle away till the carrots are cooked through, sausages are cooked, the sauce kind of melds together and makes love and does all that nice, wonderful stuff. I'm gonna get my mash on. If you wanna learn how to make mash, I've done a video on that before. Mash three ways, I'll put a link somewhere. But get your mash done, ready for when you wanna serve. I'm going to put some peas on mine as well. So I'll see you in about 30 to 40 minutes. Well, in a few seconds for you, because editing. See you in a bit. Right, I'm about halfway through, and I just thought I'd bring you back a second. Uh, what I've done is I've taken the lid off, because I want to reduce that sauce a bit. It's a bit too liquidy. If you don't want to do that, you can add a bit of corn flour, mix with some water, that'll thicken it up as well. Give it a bit of a shifty round as well. As you can see, I've got my spuds on. I think I'll have some peas. Right, be right back. Okay, so we are about there. I am just gonna check the sauce, just see if it needs any salt. Oh, that's glorious. Really taste the rosemary in there. Does need a pinch of salt, doesn't need a lot. And you can use other herbs in there, you know, you can use, like sage would be really great in there for those sausages. But that's pretty much it. Right, that's the casserole slash stew done. Just wait for my peas to finish and then we'll plate it up. There we go. Sausage casserole. Nice kind of autumn, colder days meal. Enjoy your family or eat the bleeding lot to yourself. It's up to you really, isn't it? Now, I know quite a few of my American followers and other countries probably probably can't get hold of a good quality British banger. All right, just use your favourite sausage. Okay, don't you don't have to go out your way to seek out the best of British sausages. So just kind of use your favourite sausage. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Yes, I know the quality is a bit scuffed at the minute. All right, but just just bear with me before I bugger off and finish my dinner. See if we can get older mugs. You right, buddy? You wanna come say hello? I haven't seen you for a while. Yes, I know. Can you say hello? Yeah? They've missed you. 
You're the bleeding star of the show, you are. Uh, so yes, I'm gonna love and leave you. If you enjoyed the video, leave a comment, like, share, subscribe, subscribe, all that kind of jazz. So I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And ta-ta for now. Shall I let you down? Come on then. Ugh. Molting. <laughs>